Hi, future GISPs. I'm going to teach you everything that I learned to easily pass the GISP exam so that you don't have to spend years reading textbooks, getting degrees, paying for prep courses, and searching the internet for information like I did. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything I learned about automated data collection and conversion methods. Automated data collection and conversion methods is the third section under the data acquisition category of the GISCI Geospatial Core Technical Exam list of knowledge categories. Let's get started with section 403, Automated Data Collection and Conversion Methods. Feature Extraction. Feature extraction refers to the process of transforming raw data, such as satellite imagery, LiDAR point clouds, or other geospatial data, into meaningful features. Feature extraction is performed for land cover classification, object detection, change detection, and terrain modeling. In manual feature extraction, human analysts manually identify and delineate features of interest. This method of feature extraction is highly accurate but time-consuming. Automated Feature Extraction In automated feature extraction, algorithms automatically detect and extract features. Automated feature extraction uses deep learning to recognize patterns. Automated feature extraction is faster than manual feature extraction. Web or data scraping. Web or data scraping involves extracting data from sources that are not intended to be sources of data, such as websites. This is efficient for large scale data extraction. Remote sensing. Remote sensing is the process of employing an instrument to acquire information about an object or phenomenon without making physical contact with it. Extract, transform, load, or ETL. Extract, transform, load is a data integration process used to combine data from multiple sources into a consistent format for loading into a data warehouse, data lake, or other target system. Extract. In the extract stage, raw data is copied or exported from various source locations to a staging area. Transform. In the transform stage, raw data undergoes data processing in a staging area. The data processing can include cleaning, sanitizing, aggregating, and enriching data. Data cleaning removes inconsistencies errors, and duplicates. Data sanitizing ensures data quality by standardizing formats. Data aggregating combines data from different sources. Data enriching adds additional information to the data. Load. In the load stage, 
cleaned and transformed data is loaded into a target database. The data is organized and structured for efficient querying and reporting. Loading can happen incrementally or in batch mode. Application Programming Interfaces, or APIs. Application Programming Interfaces are sources for specific data from online databases. APIs are structured and reliable. Programs can link to APIs and automatically update as data from the API changes. That's all I've included in this section. See Section 208, Knowledge of Spatial Data Standards, including ISO, FGDC, and OGC for API types and data transfer standards. Now you know everything that I learned about automated data collection and conversion methods to easily pass the GISP exam. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can keep helping people pass the GISP exam and achieve the rewarding careers in GIS that they deserve. You can also find everything I learned to pass the GISP exam in my book, The Ultimate GISP Exam Study Guide, available on Amazon. My study guide is an easily understandable, comprehensive, graphical, all-in-one resource for passing the exam. You can find the link to my study guide in the description below. Thanks for joining me and congratulations in advance on passing the GISP exam. <music>